Hi everyone, this is Irene and welcome to Score Secrets. Today I am going to share with you uh, some of the do's and don'ts if you are using a copper water bottle. Now these do's and don'ts also applies to like if you have a cup, uh, a copper cup and a copper jug and all that, uh, copper vessels in other words. So before we get into it, shall we? Welcome back. My name is Irene. I am the owner of Socor Secrets. I am a low attraction coach and also a health coach now. I am also a fourth degree black belt on a Mukwondo style. So today I am going to share with you more about the copper water bottle. So uh, I had a recent um, video about why I chose and to use a copper water bottle as my uh, water container now um, although I don't get rid I didn't get rid of all my plastic um, you know containers I still use them because I could only use uh, the water in here for the whole entire day so that's number one uh, do's and don't is that if you are going to drink uh, water from a copper container you want to use it only a certain amount because the copper in your body uh, has to be kind of controlled you know there's a limit to uh, how we should consume uh, copper in our body because world health organization has said that uh, allowable uh, health wise is two milligrams uh, of copper per liter and so um and having a one container of these will give you about 0.2 milligrams of uh, copper per liter. And so it is still very safe, but we have to be very, very aware of how you are actually, um, you know, consuming copper uh, infused water because sometimes you get copper also from the food that you eat. And also if you are taking multivitamins, the chances are check on that and see if you if the multivitamin has copper content in there so you gotta add, add that up because uh, there is a, um, a limit anyway so another one um, do's and don'ts is how long are you supposed to store water in here before you could drink it so ideally in order for you to benefit from the copper ions uh, to be on the water you have to store the water uh, overnight or at least six to eight hours uh, you know that water will be in here before you drink it um, next is um, can you put other liquids into your water container or you know or other food you know so no because you know some food such as maybe soda or uh, milk or uh, juice you know they have acidity on it and it will have an uh, it will have a chemical reaction inside with the copper so it is a big no-no never put other than water um, so no juice no crystal light on it or anything like that none of that just plain water now um, another do's and don'ts is that should you store it in the refrigerator the answer is no Put it in room temperature uh, another do's and don't is that should you put hot or you know cold water inside here so the answer is no only use temperature water to be stored into your copper container because when you put heat or heated water you know it gets really really hot so you will not even able to hold this container because copper is a very good conductor of heat so you might get a uh, burn if you put hot water onto your container and also if it is um likewise if you put iced water on it it also reacts it might crack or anything like that it will have a chemical reaction um so how do you clean your um water bottle 
or again this is also pertains to if you have a copper cup as well you can do this so how do you clean your copper vessels or any copper kind of uh, like if you have a copper spoon or anything so the best way to actually clean it is use hot water put some lemon um, squeeze lemon and also salt and kind of like soak it there for about five minutes to remove all the tarnished area so you have so copper uh, gets tarnished it gets oxidized you know um, so sometimes you'll see greenish uh, part of there inside and all that if that means if, if you notice that it's time to clean it because um, those are oxidization and it's very toxic to your body if you try to drink water that has that so those are no no uh, the last one that I wanted to actually share with you today about this water container is always make sure it is clean and always make sure so um, if you want to you know um, kind of clean it regularly not just when it's actually tarnished so and do not put it into the dishwasher <laughs> because you you know you cannot use a very strong um, kind of soap in it because it will damage as well the tarnish it will untarnish your copper water bottle or your um, your mug so I hope that you guys learned something from me today about how to take care of your uh, copper containers, copper vessel, copper, copper water bottle, or copper jugs, or copper spoons. You know, I have a copper uh, tongue uh, cleaner or scraper, and that's how I actually clean them. So I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, hit that like button. And if you actually haven't haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I'm dedicated to create more videos you know that will inspire you help you and uh, you know whatever I could share so until my next video see you guys later bye